Thank you for click on this video. The Emu deck is great, but sometimes it is just buggy. In this video, I will guide you to play PS3 games without Emu deck. I think this will be really handy if you just want PS3 emulation on the deck. Also, we can skip all the Emu deck stuff and enjoy the pure PS3 emulation experience. If you already have Emu deck installed on the deck, you can still follow this guide. It does not conflict with installed Emu deck. Even if you already have PS3 emulator installed from Emu deck, you can also follow this guide. You will just end up with two options to emulate PS3. One is from Emu deck, and the other is direct from RPCS3. This setup process is pretty simple. Also, this method will be more solid than the Emu deck way because we don't have to deal with Emu deck constant updates and configuration stuff. Plus, we will get the latest RPC S3 update at first time always. I will make a series of this video for all major emulators on this channel. Please stay tuned. This one is dedicated for the PS3 emulator. Now, let's get into the tutorial section. So step 1, we need to create 3 folders to store RPC S3 and PS3 games on your Steam Deck. You can create them on your internal storage or SD card. I will create them on my SD card here. So all my PS3 games will be stored on the SD card. So create the first folder and name as RPC S3. Then go inside the folder and create a folder name as PKG. This will be used to store the PKG format game. Then create another folder name as PS3ROM. This folder is for the ISO game. Let's go to the web browser. You can search RPCS3 on Google or you can use the link I provided under this video description to go to the RPCS3 official download page. So from this download page, make sure we download the Linux version RPC S3 here. Then we can open it in the download folder. I will move the RPC S3 app image file into the RPC S3 folder we just created. Then rename the file to RPC S3. Then double click and run this app image file. On this page, I suggest you to check all the boxes here. So it will create a desktop shortcut and an app menu shortcut, which will be easier for us to access RPC S3 later on from the desktop mode. Then click continue, we will get into the RPC S3. Next step, we need to install the PS3 firmware. So first go to Sony PS3 update page. I have linked this web page under this video. So go to here on this page, click on update using a computer, and click download the PS3 update. Make sure you click allow download from the top right corner. Wait for the download complete, then we can close this web page. Next, go back to the RPC S3, then go to the file, select install firmware. Then go to your download folder and pick the PS3 firmware update we just downloaded. This installation will be done in a couple seconds, then click OK. Next, let's set up the game file location and controller. Go to the Manage menu on the top and select Virtual File System. Click on the Devil HDD0 tab. This is the location where installed PKG games are stored. Click the plus icon on the right bottom corner, then navigate to the PKG folder we have been created in the step 1. Please see the SD card location address on the screen. Go inside the PKG folder, then click choose. Now if we install PKG games, it will be stored into this PKG folder location. Then move to the Games tab from top. This is the location where the RSO games will be stored. Click the plus sign again 
and navigate to the PS3 ROMs folder we created in step 1. So go inside the PS3 ROMs folder and click choose. After this, all your ISO games should be copied into this folder for RPCS3 to detect. Make sure you click save here. That's all we need to configure the game file location. Then from top, go to the configuration and select pads. Under player 1, make sure you change the keyboard to SDL. Then under device. It will show as Steam Virtual Gamepad. Then click Save. That's all for the controller setup. Next, we need to add the RPCS3 into gaming mode so we can launch any PS3 games from the gaming mode. To do this, go to your RPCS3 folder and select the RPCS3 app image file. Then right click and select Add to Steam. Click Browser, then go to your RPCS3 folder and pick the RPCS3 app image file, then click Open. Make sure it's selected here, then click Add Selected Programs. Then click your Steam library, you will see the RPCS3 app image has shown up here. Next, just press the play button from here. If you got this error message like me, make sure you close your RPCS3 first. Then click the play button again. The RPC3 should start up. We can close it for now. If we click home from the left side of the Steam, then we can see the RPC3 show up in the recent game. Next, we need to set up a custom artwork for RPCS3 so the app will look good on the gaming mode. I will just find one RPCS3 picture from the internet, but you can use any picture that you like here. Once you have the picture, just right click on the recent games and select manager, then select set custom artwork and pick the picture that you like to use and click open. Now we can see the artwork show up for the RPCS3. Now let's add some PS3 games into the Steam Deck. All my game ROMs are stored on this hard drive, so I will copy them from here. I will install a PKG game and copy an ISO game as a demonstration here. So here I have demonstrated game. This is a PKG format game. It has a PKG file and a wrap file. All we need to do is drag the PKG file into RPCS3 and process the installation. After it's done, drag the wrap file into the RPCS3. Nothing will show for the wrap file, but it's finished. For the demonstration game, make sure you check right color buffers, otherwise you will get a black screen after you launch the game. That's all for the PKG game installation. Then I will copy an ISO game into the PS3 ROMs folder. This lollipop chainsaw is an ISO game. I will copy this game. I have made a dedicated video for PS3 ROMs. It covers everything you need for PS3 ROM. So if you have any problem with ROMs, make sure you check out this video here. When you copy the ISO ROM, make sure you copy it into the correct ROM folder. Once the copying process is done, we will see the ISO game under the PS3 ROMs folder. If we go to the PKG folder, then click Games, you will see the PKG demonstrations were installed here. I was just presenting to you guys where are all different type games are stored. Now we can close this window. If we go back to RPCS3, then click Refresh, the ISO game Lollipop Chainsaw should pop up here. Now let's back into the gaming mode and run the game from the gaming mode directly. We will see the RPCS3 with artwork show up in the gaming mode, so we can just launch the emulator from here.
The Steam Deck trackpad will not work after we launch the RPCS3, but all other buttons are functioning, so we can double tap on a game and start up a PS3 game from here. As you can see, the game runs perfectly without Emudeck. I will close this game and test the other game. Let's launch the RPC S3 again and double tap on the lollipop chainsaw. Welcome to my bedroom. Yes, everything is working well. Here you are, we can play PS3 games on the Steam Deck without Emu Deck. If you want to remove everything we just did, you just need to delete the RPC S3 folder we created in the step 1. Then make sure you turn on the show hidden file. Next, go to this location as shown on the screen and delete the RPC S3 folder here. By doing this, you have successfully removed everything we just did. 